Good morning. Uh, my name is Moerani Maimani. I'm a parishioner at St. Francis for quite a number of years, actually. And I joined coming from Pretoria North um, in my early days. Um, the word for today is, is promise. Um, however, I would, I would like to twist it a bit um, in, in, in real life and talk about uh, the promise you made to God and how it um, encompasses your life and how God never forgets the promises you made. Um, I'll relate to my own life. In, 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 in 1986, I was diagnosed with sugar diabetes, admitted at a hospital um, for three months. And fortunately, I cheated the doctor and released myself from the hospital but then I decided I'm going to talk to God about my life because um, it was a near-death experience that I had. And I prayed to God and said, God, please keep me until I'm 55 when my kids uh, have grown up uh, and are able to look after themselves. Um, a daring experience. And I think God accepted um, my proposal and moved on to um, make me live for a long time. In the process, I, I also promised God that I will be his servant. And I became a, a, a lay minister for many years. And then as I was about to be ordained, like any human being, I changed my mind. And um, I sinned, if, if I may call it that, um, and decided not to follow up on ordination to, to be to the office of a deacon. Um, and I, I went on with my life, happy life, working young men. And, uh, um, and I said, when I'm 55, and in 2015, I was 55, um, something happened which, which scared my, uh, my, my wits out of myself. Um, I, went to South Sudan and I came back poisoned with, uh, on, in the water. Someone injected poison into the water uh, and I had to come back. And I came back, arrived at home around 3 a.m. and said to my wife, I need to go to the hospital. Um, she took me to the hospital. I went ahead and I was, I was admitted, immediately started the emergency and I was admitted. And um, the rest is, is the most difficult one. Uh, the promise I made to God came out. Um, and I promised, God had given me up to 55, and I was 55. Um, all I know is that I was admitted, my wife and my children were around me, and um, then gone, I was, I was out for a count. I, I don't know what to call it. Um, the doctors chased my children away and, and said they would look at, after me and then they tried uh, to resuscitate me and um, for a few hours, uh, but they gave up in the last, uh, the last minute. And they, 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 as they were uh, taking things off me, um, something funny happened because I could see my children, I tried to talk to them while well, they were not in the room, uh, they, they were actually phoning my siblings and telling them it looks like uh, I'm on the way. Um, and yes, I was on the way because I went on the other side and I saw, saw lots of other things. My great grandparents, my parents, and everyone that I knew had passed on. And then came uh, someone in white robes and said, your time is not up. But this is the promise you made um, a few years ago. And uh, I remembered that I asked God to get to age 55. Um, and then, but he said, they said to me, go back. There's a few things you need to do. Um, you promised to work for God. You stopped. You promised a few. There were a number of things which 
um, was, were, were taken, were, were told to me. And as the doctor started certifying me and, and taking things off my body, um, I came back. Um, I remember I had an insulin pump attached to my waist, and that was the, the when they tried to, 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 to take it away, I held their hand and I said, what are you doing? Um, and they said, you know, we tried to resuscitate you, resuscitate you and we gave up on you, so we, we, there are doctors busy finalizing your papers as dead. And then I said, call my family. They called my family, well, after a few minutes of arguing what is going on, and, and I said to them, stop crying, I'm here. Um, that was a very scary moment, but then God kept on saying, nudging me to say, there's things you need to do, and I'm now trying to make it correct with God. Not that I'm never, I'll, I'll, I can say I'll never die, but um, God has asked me to do certain things, uh, and hence I decided to go back to, to lay ministry and, and, and possibly to be ordained as, as a deacon in, in a year or two. But um, I've started working, um, I, I, well, I started off as a church warden and I did a lot of other things which we, uh, we, 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 I had agreed to do. Um, and I know a lot of people believe there are no ancestors. I have seen them and they gave me instructions and I communicate with them regularly. So um, the, now and then they keep on nudging and saying, don't forget you promised to do the following things. And that's a promise that you make with God. Um, I don't know about the promise you made to other people, uh, but I've, 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 I've promised God to do certain things which I'm now trying hard to do uh, because I believe that you know, things may just be difficult um, if I don't do them properly. Um, and things started kept getting on better and better in my life after that, 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 that place. Maybe a year later, I, uh, because at that point I, was, I had also um, had an unfortunate incident where because of this uh, poisoning of, by, by, by a colleague, I had to face the employer and say, we can't continue this way. And they, they decided then that I'm going to be retrenched, which I agreed. So uh, for a few years after the, the retrenchment, things were bad. And my family, we didn't even have food. And I kept on saying, God, why did you bring me back if, if we're not going to have food? And things have turned to, to be better in my life. And uh, I always get these um, reminders that I need to do certain things, which some of them I will not disclose now, but I just want to emphasize on making a promise or a covenant with God and, and keeping it. Because if you don't keep it, uh, God will never forget that you made a covenant or a promise. So you need to keep on, uh, as you pray, Every day, you need to rem remember to say, God, I've not achieved that. Um, can you allow me time to, to do that? Uh, God, this is what you asked me to do. Uh, I haven't done it. Um, will I have enough time uh, to do it? If you don't have enough time, you, you plead with him and say, can I have more time? And, and, and God answers in different ways. So we, 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 we have to remember that when we keep on praying, when we pray uh, to God and, and make a promise and say, I promise you, God, I'll do this, God will never forget. I thank you very much.